Hi guys, we have a new game. It's called The Stomping Land. It's by Black Box and it's in Alpha at the moment. It's just come out on Steam for a fairly reasonable price. It's Alpha 0 0.5.2 and it's set in prehistory. We are dealing with dinosaurs, it's pretty obvious here, and a survivor. This is my shadow over here. This is the guy who we lead into the wilderness. Now, I haven't played this game as yet. I've had a brief look. And I know that the online is the place to be. So I'm going to go in there and you'll notice I've got it at the full graphic settings here. It looks very crisp. So we're going to go in to the online version and have a play around. So I'm going to be learning and showing you guys what it's like. And so this first video is called In the Beginning. And it's the first part of this series. I want to quit myself. So I am a warrior ready to go into battle. Ah! Day has come. It's a lot, you just, there's so much more danger in the day. You can just feel it. All right, so we need, I'm gonna head around this coast here. I would like to tame a dinosaur. But at the moment, I'm not too worried about that. Now this game is obviously heavily influenced by Rust. Um, it's got that same look of Rust. You know, you start with nothing you know, apart from your little hatchet, and then you're you're just left to survive. Um, the Rust started out with zombies. This has obviously got dinosaurs. Uh, it's a bit like Daisy, I guess. Um, similar, although it looks and feels much more like Rust, I would say. So let's have a look. What what can we make here? We can build a shield. Here we go. So hopefully we can just put the shield on our arm. Here we go. Nearly done. Ah, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Right, so you can only... So that... Right. Okay. That is exactly... So that might be quite handy. So what's that on? That's, I think it's on three. Yeah, it's on three. Okay. And then you've got your spear. That's pretty vicious as well. Um, what else? Let's... Uh, we need to go... Let's go and find that TP, shall we? So you can run if you hold shift... If I go around the coast, I don't know how big this island is. So let's have a look and see how big it is. That's someone else's TP. Two TPs. This wasn't my one. I think I'm not going to bother going in there. I guess I'm going to find lots of TPs around the coast. I'm going to get hungry soon and I will need to hunt some dinosaurs, cook myself some meat. If I can find my little um, teepee, be nice if I did. I kind of feel loyal to that teepee. It was the first place I went to, my first teepee ever. And they were rude enough to hack me down and take my teepee and my expertise. Okay. Maybe I should craft myself a bow just in case. Let's do a quick bow. Long range attack. If I see someone from a distance, I can always... Um, crate gets bigger as you put more in it and heavier. The sun's come out. It's nice. And you just... Another thing about this game is your your field of vision isn't that wide. Let's have a look. So he's hacking away. And... Can we make a bow yet? Not yet. You can make bowlers. I'm not that interested in bowlers. Do this. So we're cutting down this tree. These trees last forever. People are, uh, are desperate to make tribes. Let's make a bow. Here we go. While I'm crafting, I can look around. So I'll have a bow, a shield. Here we go. So we're fully equipped. We've got that shield as well. Um, I don't know how big this island is. It looks pretty massive. It's a kind of um, desert island, but it's got a kind of mix of pines and palm trees. 
it could be massive. I could be heading off into a wilderness and I'm never going to find my TP. I'd love to find my TP. Come on. I might have to build another one. Didn't take too long. It's pretty easy. The TPs look great, by the way. Some of these games you can build like shacks and they're just like squares, but these TPs have got character. I really like that about this game. Obviously, the, the design features, there, there's some real thought gone into them. And you can see how this is going to expand. Currently, I think someone was saying there's six dinosaur types. And um, there's going to be a hell of a lot more, I can tell you that much. And the crafting's going to get a bit more advanced. That someone's dropped a, f someone's dropped a torch there. Um, now, can I get over this stone? I hope so. And some of the, some of the landscape is pretty harsh. But I'm, I like it. And you can swim, apparently. What's this down here? Someone's um, left a torch there as well. I'm unsure about how long these torches burn. Seem to go out before, pretty quickly. But um, that one back there has obviously been left for a while. So, ah, what have we got over here? Is this my? This where I was? This is starting to look a bit like where I was. Is this my TP? Is it a TP on fire? No, this that certainly isn't my TP. This looks like a base with with a whole bunch of people in. No, I didn't have a big rock uh, next to my TPs. Whoa. Right, I'm attacking this group. Here he comes. Ah! Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Man, look at that. That is... It is vicious. Okay, so the spear is good. It's difficult to aim the bow. That is pretty much apparent. I had experts to, expertise 25. Okay, so there is a very harsh lesson learnt very quickly. Do not go up against a spear with a bow. I don't think it's going to work. I, I mean, I seriously need to get that down. I need to understand what it is about that. Now, hang on a minute. This looks, this might be. We've got a dinosaur up there. Have we got any wood nearby? We've got a tree there. I need something a bit closer, so I have to keep walking around. Maybe I could put a TP up here. That's a bit obvious, though, isn't it? Really, where are we going to put this TP? How about um, over? See what you really there's a there's a guy down there. He's set up at a TP. Can you see that down there? He's just off. He's running around. He's put he's put his um, totem pole up. Now, if I go around this corner here, ah, oh, there's one over there as well. You see that? I wonder whether you can actually um, hack these down. They put a torch there. I'm not exactly pleased with this. Let's go around this side. I think there's a geyser guy. Should we make a spear? Let's make a spear. If we make a spear, then I'm going to be able to protect myself a bit better. I think that's your standard melee weapon. No, you can't hack those down. That's no good. It's only these trees here you can do it to. But in here, this is actually... This isn't a bad little location in here. Admittedly, the stone's up there. But if I'm it within these bushes here, no one's going to see me. So maybe I'll build, I'll build my base in here. And then I've got a bit of cover. Let's build it here. Exactly here. Yeah. A bit of natural foliage protecting me I guess some people must they must build inland then but as I said before maybe it's really difficult at night to be able to handle an inland situation but let's build a TP here and let's just see how we go it may just stick out the top there and the whole world and his mates are gonna see me there's a view in from the land there but I guess you know we'll give it a blast we'll give it a blast so we've got wood here and then if I'm kind of if I face out to the sea, maybe that'll make it harder. Or maybe I should face inland. 
I'll face inland. Apparently where you face is the, the entrance to the teepee. So let's put that one down there. Okay. Here he goes. We're building this up now. What have we got here? E Eleven wood. That's probably enough. Let's just step back a little bit. E. Can we do it? E. E. No. E here. Yeah. And I'm facing that way over there. That's fine. Here we go. Sweet. Up goes my TP. Then if I'm away and I die, I found your. T oh. Okay. Right, so let's have a look here. That's quite well... That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I quite like that. It's not immediately obvious, is it? Alright, let's build ourselves a fire. And... Obviously need to take the stone inside. That is a bit of a pain. That is true. But I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Maybe this is a way of surviving this, this brutal game. Let's, um, we need to then get the best weapons. Here we go, because I've got two guys. I've got like, a guy over that side and a guy over the other side. And they're building up their resources. Here we go, some more stone. I think I probably need about four, maybe. And I need to, I've got a spear. Have I got a spear? Have I built a spear yet? I don't think I have, actually. That's probably something I need to do pretty soon. Let me just check. Did I build a spear? No. Okay, so spears will be on the list as well. I think that if you have more resources in your bundle, I think it uses them up as well. So it's probably wise to learn the exact ingredients for these things. Four stone and ten wood equals TP, yeah. Okay, I need to write that down somewhere and have that with me. All right. So we've got this, so we're building, I've got to build that fireplace. Okay, so I've collected together enough to build a fire pit. Lovely. He's doing that inside our teepee. Sweet, you can put the meat on the fireplace once you've harvested it from any dinosaurs that you kill, which I haven't done successfully as yet. And there's a dinosaur over there, he probably would be in range. I need to build a bow. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm collecting the wood together here. Um, bearing in mind, I need to make a spear, I need to make a bow. Um, so I get my armory together. I'm kind of out of the way here. I hope people aren't seeing me on this spot. That's the plan. And we can slowly build up our reserves. It's brutal. It is a brutal game. Look, those guys over there, you see? It's vicious. People just, I think people just... Put, fuck. Ah! Oh. Hey, he's destroying my base. Ah, oh, he's destroyed it. That's what you do. It's vicious. It's vicious. Man. That is outrageous. How many times am I going to die? My TP. Get in there, man. Where is he? Here we go. Don't think he's seen me. Get in there! See that? That is revenge, you bastard. Don't think you can take my TP down. Get in there. Yep. Yeah. You are down. Thank you, bud.